Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I does this. In today's video, I'm going to be opening a Crown Zenith booster box. And I'm also going to be showing you what my binder looks like after about 100 packs. But all together after this video, I'm going to open up 100 packs. So I'm going to open up the booster box and then show you the binder at the end once I put everything in. Here's the Toasty! booster box, guys. They don't normally make booster boxes for special sets, so you have to kind of custom make your own from various products. For my certain booster box, I made it out of um, 40 TBs. And then the booster box itself is from a Brilliant Stars booster box. Just stuck down some bits and pieces from the um, Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box. There you go. And when you flip it open. There you go. Alright, let me leave this one aside for now. Here are the four cold cards from the Elite Trainer boxes that I used. Alright, so... From 40 TBs, you're gonna get 40 packs, so 4 extra packs which couldn't fit in the booster box, otherwise I would have. But, so there's 36 packs in the booster box and then 4 here, I'm gonna start with these, just to see. Alright, so let's get started guys, let's get started. So yeah, so after this opening, if I can get this pack open. There you go, this pack finally got it open, yeah, after um this opening. Psychic Energy. I'm going to show you what my binder looks like after. I would say, I think I've opened 120 packs or close to that. We've got a Reverse Gloom and then Amorous. So, first pack out of that one was nothing from these four random ones. Alright, so we got a Metal Energy. Crushing Hammer, Shaman, Hidden Duo, Cherubi, Young Goose, Pokeball, Cypher, Starly. And I think we've got our Radiant Charizard. Wow! I've pulled three of these now, nice. The only Radiant that I need now is the Charger Bug. Which I'd like to pull, but... I'll sleeve that Charizard at the end guys, I'll sleeve it at the end. During the video I only sleep the ones that I'm gonna put into the binder. Since that Charizard is a double up, it won't be going in the binder so I'll sleeve it up later. So we got Backwards V-Star Energy, Crushing Hammer, Shaman, Hidden Duo, Hulu, Helioptile, Sprout, Robin, Purloin, Reverse Luxray, Sizzle. I'm actually happy that I pulled that because I actually need it. For the master set it's the one regular rare that i haven't pulled for so long finally pulled it nice all right last pack from the random four oh card there you go i've changed mic guys as well so i'm not sure High five. High five. if it's gonna pick up the packs like being opened or not i don't think it will i think it i think it fills it out and if I change it so that you can hear the packs, which some people might like. You hear background noise, which I'm trying to get rid of as well. Because my other mic kind of had a lot of background noise. So we... I think we got a V-Star Pokemon. Yes! Last pack from the four random ones. Oh my days. We got one of the best as well, the Deoxys V-Star. That is a beautiful card. Yes! Happy with that. Let's go! Double banger, guys. Double banger. And the hollow full art leaf energy. What a banger of a pack. Alright guys, starting with the booster box now. I'm gonna move from the left to the right. Here we go. Let's see. I mean, these are from ETB, so in a way, depending on how many hits we get, if we get a lot. If this turns out to be a lot of hits, then somehow ETBs were doing good for me. But usually, usually ETBs aren't that great, to be honest. And I'm looking at my monitor. I'm going to be looking at my monitor because that's where I used to have my webcam. And I changed the position a little bit to be a little bit more on the right side of the monitor like it's on the top left of my 
middle monitor. It used to be on the left monitor. So I might have to get used to looking up to there where I'm looking now instead of like there. It might not make a difference. I'm not too sure if it does or not. But reverse leaf energy. Wait, Lord. Alright, so that was what? Two packs in from the left side of the booster box and nothing yet. Oh god. Um as much as I'd like to pull obviously the ultra rares and the big V stars and stuff like that. I have barely seen any hollows. Heliopla reverse toros. Yeah, I need more hollows. And I think after pulling that sizzle, that regular sizzle, I think I need maybe one or two more regular rares that I haven't pulled. From the top of my head, sizzle. I know there's definitely another one. What? Sizzle. What was the other one? Completely what? Seal. Reverse Bow Toy. Light bulb. Yeah. Um. Definitely one. I think. How many V's have I pulled? I pulled a decent amount of V's, I believe. Although there's quite a few more that I know of. Glaceon. High five. And a few others. Like, as much as I want those V stars and stuff, to be honest. I'd love to complete the main set. Oh, Let's yes, go! nice. Have a cool no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes. Here's a Galarian Gallery Pikachu from the God Pack of V Star Universe. And a Mewtwo Hollow. Yes, there's a Hollow that I need a Mewtwo. Perfect. I think let's just say. I actually put them in the booster. I didn't randomize them. I put them in order of how I came out the ETBs from the from the boxes and put them into the booster box. So I believe we're coming up close to the end of the first ETB. No we pulled is that Pikachu Galarian Gallery. So this isn't looking too good, but Yeah, it's not looking too good for ETB number one. Can we at least get more than a Galarian Gallery? Come on. I mean, to be honest, those four packs, I believe, I took them out from two of the first ETBs that opened. Reverse Wilma. Throw. Yeah, this is the last pack from the first ETB, guys. So, looks like we're not getting nothing. Wow. Oh, actually, I see a little bit of peeking. I see a little bit of peeking, guys. There's something in this one. Is it the Galarian Gallery slot or is it the... Main set slot. See the see the see Yanma Yanma Moga. Love this. Execute. No, it's not. I think it's probably a V Max to be honest. Let's Ooh. go! Charizard V Star, yes. To be honest, I completely forgot about this card and I'm glad I pulled this card. I didn't think I was actually gonna pull it to be honest. Nice, Charizard V Star. So a V Star and a Galarian Gallery. From the first box and a Radiant Charizard maybe. Actually no, I don't even know because those are from the fourth thingy, so wow. Alright, moving into the second half of the booster box. What should I say? The second half. Yeah, the second half of the left side of the booster box anyway. Yes, I caught myself. Yeah, almost messed up. Usually, sometimes, once in a while. Put five to the back instead of four. Sylvester. Yahoo! Yes! That's it. Nice. Radiant Charger Bug. The one that I need. From the rest of the remaining radiance, perfect. And Kyogre Hollow, yes, that's another one that I need as well. All right, all right. This this, this opening is going well. We pulled a V Star, a decent one at least, a nice Deoxys V Star. That's not that's a nice card. Um, only one double, one double Leaf Energy. And the rest for the binder, perfect. We pulled one for the mm, regular rares. Let's go! And then we just pulled another full up. GG. Corez's experiment. Yes, the one that I need for the binder as well. And a berserker. Alright, so 
Yo guys, this year Transinic has blessed me with a lot. Transinic has blessed me, blessed me with a lot. Um, if you see in all of my other videos, a link to my playlist will be in the description down below. I've opened up all the products for Transina so far, and my luck has been fire. Oh my days, my luck has been fire. I've pulled the most expensive card twice. Angle. I've pulled the most expensive card twice. I've pulled secret rare twice, and I've pulled a few other cards, decent cards as well for the binder. High five. So yeah, my Crown Zenith luck, or shall I say, 2023 luck so far has been good with Crown Zenith. Although, I don't know, I would say, the battle just a double up. Scissor again. I mean, Crown Zenith cause is actually quite good as it is. Pulling the two secret rares, which according to pull rate data, data, I think the Pikachu is one in a hundred packs. I pulled two of them already, and less than a hundred packs. The gold cards, one in one thousand five hundred, and I pulled two of those already in less than a hundred packs as well. Wilma. So out of the odds of one in one hundred and one in one thousand five hundred, pulled two. In less than a hundred. So, yeah, either my luck with Crown Zenith is shining. Or well I guess it is luck because even with the poor rate data that's all um of one in one hundred and one in one thousand five hundred is based on luck. I mean if you buy one thousand packs from one source all in one case, luck to your regardless. That's where the data will probably stack up against you. But whereas if you buy different sources from different sources, you never know what your luck can be. So, like, you can always... Maybe it could be your first ever pack that you buy from... Actually, no, because you can't really buy single packs. Well, let's just say you buy... One single minute in two packs. That first pack that you open from that one minute in, and you get the gold Giratina, let's just say. One in 1,000 chance, and you pulled the gold Giratina. Nothing. Oh nice, there are RV. Uh no, I don't need that one. I don't need it. Oh. So pull rate data is a good thing. But at the same time it's random. It just pull rate data I would say means more when you're buying from one source and in one batch. See like a case of ETBs. I think that is a better indication of pull rate data. Whereas buying from random stores, Yahoo! nice Paris. That's another one that I need for the binder. Perfect. And the sign Nessa, yes, I need that one too. So well, yeah, um, in terms of pull rate data, I guess. Take them with a grain of salt. They're not always going to be true for what they are. At the end of the day, this is all luck. This is all just based on luck. Unless, again, like a storefront. If you're a storefront, obviously, you're getting bulk orders or big batches of orders from your distributor. But for random people that buy from regular retail stores and stuff like that, you're going to, you could be the lucky one to. Pick out that one lucky elite training box, that one lucky mini tin that they put that big hit in. So far, we're going to draw run, and only that one Galarian gallery. Um, right. wow. wow, last pack from the left side, and we've pulled my third Pikachu secret rare. Wow, I can't believe it. Three of them, one in 100, guys, and I've opened up three of them. Well, I pulled three of them in about just about 100 packs now, I say. I'd say. Wow! All right, guys, so we're about halfway through the video or halfway through the packs. If you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. But without further scooby ado, let's get it. 
All right, so moving on to the last half, the last remaining eighteen of the booster box. Oh, so far, I think. I mean, I guess I pulled the. Actually, yeah, I pulled two full arts and the super rare Pikachu. So yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's. I'm. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Definitely pulled a few for the master set, which you're gonna see after. But oh my, please, no, I bought this one. I was almost gonna get happy because there's another one for the but I bought it. No one else. Yeah, so after this, you're gonna see the binder. How my binder goes again, but so far, I pulled decent, decent amount for the binder. Decent amount, nice. A few doubles, which is expected. But apart from that, nice. Again, it seems like Crown Zenith in terms of V Star Pokemon lock, or like V's in terms of the Galarian Gallery, the Pokemon side, not doing too good. Yeah, in terms of Pokemon in the Galarian Gallery side, not doing too good. Not doing too good. I take that Deoxys V Star, that's a nice hit. That's a really nice one. Out of all of the ones that I could afford, I could afford that Deoxys is a good one. But I want to see more, just anything. More Pokemon, please. More Pokemon. Galarian Galleries. Me off, bow toy, nothing. Yahoo! Charizard V, nice. So this is a Charizard box looking like it. And that Charizard V, I believe, is a complete reprint. Exact same from Brilliant Stars. The V Star is a different one compared to the one in Brilliant Stars. I think that V Star one is from. Is it the start deck or the... It was part of a Japanese, like, starter thing, I believe. Something like that. And energy switch, nothing. Scarlet and Violet is releasing, I'd say, exactly, probably a month from now. Kinda can't wait. The bad thing is, you know what I recently just did? I, I thought they was only gonna do silver borders for... The rares and above, or the reverses and above, something like that. But even then, it still works out because I'm still going to be opening stuff before. Yes, yes a mana fee, blowing gallery, which I need, and a Nessa Hollow again. Yeah, I bought a crap load of yellow sleeves, for my binder. And then they're gonna be going away with complete with yellow now and change it to silver, so I need to buy a stack of silver sleeves now going forward for my binder. Put my cards in. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be opening like Crown Zenith, probably some silver tempest and stuff like that. Still, so it should be fine. Probably won't end up using all of that stack that I bought. But I'm gonna always just use it later on for like double up cards stuff like that hollows sleeves stuff that i can just sell off just use those sleeves to put them in and then sell them off so far we've gone on a dry run wow we haven't pulled anything oh my god yeah wow this side hasn't produced anything good wow this side has not produced anything good so far and again this is from elite chainer boxes so Yeah, my early trainer box lock, like regular retail early trainer box lock is crap. Really crap. Pokemon Center ones, yes. I swear by those. But the reverse, anyways. Alright, so I think the last ETB now, guys. The last ETB. That other ETB, I think the third ETB. We didn't get anything. I think just the Charizard and the Manaphy Galarian Gallery. We start Marco Backwards, Solar, Lunatone, Dragon Shoes, Poor Fish, Shinx, Wilma, Blair Meowth, nothing, nothing. Wow, guys, wow, this is getting disappointing to the point now. Only pulled two full arts since so far, only two full arts. And a secret rare. Wow. Again, I think it looks like. It looks like. Wait, I've only actually even pulled three Pokemon. Galarian Galleries, that the Oxys, Samurai, and the Samurai V. 
I can't even say one per video. Will I only be pulling? Will I only be pulling one? Pokemon Galarian Gallery. Per video. Not even per video, I've only pulled Pokemon Galarian Gallery in one video. Yeah, one video. Make that two now. Wow. Reverse Lightning Energy. Yeah, Mega. The funny thing is, like, I've watched quite a few videos now. Just I just watched them on downtime. I just watched just see how people's locks doing with Tanzanian compared to mine. And I see loads, loads of these of these Galarian Gallery Pokemon being pulled. But my luck is just crap. But wow. Bay Hollow, do I need that one? I think I do. Yeah, when it comes to Galarian Gallery pull up Pokemon, my luck is crap. I mean, I pulled three secret rare Pikachu's. Odds being one in one hundred of those is Maybe that's just what's taking my luck. I guess pulling two gold giratinas and three secret rare Pikachu's. Let's yes. go! There, here, I'll take pull out psychic energy. Yeah, I guess pulling two gold giratinas and. Um, Three secret of Pikachu's. That I guess that can take my luck away. We got Metal Energy, Shaman, Metang, Lapio, Lavesta, Snow Run, Switch, and Cham. Do we have anything? And we have a trainer, Melanie. Oh, actually, I'll take that. I would take that, Melanie. That's a waifu that I like. That's a good waifu card right there. Hello, Lisk. Actually, one of the first trainer cards from the Galarian Gallery, or from trainers in general, that I'm happy to pull. That Melanie. She's one of my Pokemon waifus, I guess. I'll take a Melanie any day. Water Energy. Incursion, Pokemon Catcher, Traveler, Sprout, Robin, Furloin, Tooth. And we Yahoo! have a Pichino, that's a double up. Zem no, no, Zem Zashian. I need that. Zashian V. Yep, I need that one. Ah. Alright, so we got three packs left. I mean, not bad. Only one Pokemon V start to show for it. A secret rare as well. Two full arts. Ah, oh, I think that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Bloom, Crimson Sinnoh, Leron, Aron, Rockruff, Seal, Ponyard, Four Fish, Reverse Toros. Alright, guys, almost time to go into the binder to see how the binder's doing. Almost time, one more time. Two packs left. Are we gonna get anything? Probably not. Darkness Energy, Rest of Courier, Carnivine. Prince Nisui, Shinx, Wilma, Yao, Altoy. Nope. First Raihan. Nope. Alright, guys, last pack, last pack. Are we going to get last pack magic? Are we going to get last pack magic? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Here we go. Alright. Leaf Energy. Lunatone, Bishop, Red Candy, Snow Run, Pancham, Shinx. Lulu, Leopta, nope, Reverse Cypher, come shoes. Alright guys, so I'm gonna set this up, put everything in the binder and everything, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I saw it at the binder. Here is the binder. I just was, I'm using a Volt X. This is a special edition one um, from Sword and Shield Lost Origin. They use the color theme from Lost Origin. Here it is. And this is the first page. So look, first edition, 2022. It's one of the first editions that they make from a site called Cards. I'll link it down below maybe or 
put on screen somewhere. But yeah, they do these like a first first edition print run every time a new set releases. I think they're doing one for Scarlet and Violet as well. A purple one, which I might actually be interested in getting. But nonetheless, here we go guys. This is the first page. Almost complete with their section except of one. But there's the cross. And then here is the next page. Couple missing. The ones that we pulled today were the Charizard and the Charizard V Star. I use Dragon Shield yellow max leaves for the commons and uncommons and rares. Actually anything with a yellow border I use um yellow mat dragon shield sleeves and then I use black mat dragon shield sleeves for V's and above. Anything with a black border pretty much. So here's the fire and water page. Here's the electric and water page. So there's a Rotom, Rotom V. Zero or V. I pulled that today. The Radiant Charger Bug. Here's the Psychics. So it's not doing too bad to be honest. My finder's progress is doing not too much not too bad for 100 pack. Here's the fighting and the psychic and the darkness. Here's the next page of the darkness and the metals. There's the next page. It's hollows and V's that I find hard to pull. Those are like the hardest to pull, the hollows and the V's. And then V stars, I use for V stars and like silver borders, white borders, I use um the silver mat um dragon shield sleeves. Here is a here's the trainers and a bit of the colorless going over. There's one part of this binder that I'm gonna hate and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to change it near the end. That will show you. Here's more trainers. Getting into the Fallout range where there's only five anyway. One, two, three, four, five, which is the all trainers. And then we got the full art energies and then the reverse energies. For the first time ever, I'm putting energies in a binder because obviously they got like a shine and reverse, they reverse and full art. The normal ones I don't put in the binders. And then here we have the remaining energy and then the secret one secret rare Pikachu. And then the Galarian Gallery starts from here. Voltor being Galarian Gallery number one. There you go. Here's page number two. This part, this part I might change. Where? I think from here. Riolu goes here. Yeah, because in V Star Universe, the God Pack, you get nine of these cards. So it's, I don't have all of them here. But when I do, I might make them into, because they're supposed to make an image. So I might make them into an image going from here. It's gonna mess up the the, the order of the um set, but I kinda prefer the the image of the nine cards than the set numbers, if you get what I mean. I don't know yet, I might do it, I might not. But there we go, that's that. We've got aluminium V, the Oxys V Max. From here you're gonna see that how many Pokemon that I've pulled in terms of the um Glaring gallery side hardly any so what's that the, the aluminium v the v max the oxys v star that's probably the best pull out of all of these that i've pulled samurai these two are nice cards oh, that's quite a nice card i like that card and then drapion v in terms of v stars only two v stars and one v max here is the just about gonna be able to see it the trainers and then the gold cards are gonna start from because there's only four they're gonna start from here one two three the retina is number three and then the last one which is going to be arc i think it's arcus arc is the last one right i'm not too sure but the one gold card is going to flow over to where i choose where i keep my promos of ground zenith which that's going to bug me it's going to really bug me but there's nothing i can actually do i can't take out one card i can't sort it out in a different way so one card is going to flow over to the promos i can move the promos onto that page but and then the one card on that page as well it just doesn't fit right with me so yeah but that's my crown zenith binder of the 120 packs i believe i've opened i've opened up about 120 packs now but yeah 
that is my crown zenith final progress so far if you enjoyed the video if you stuck with me to the end i'd appreciate it if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more and see you on the next one peace